Hi and welcome back to IASTEC, the place where we make web development simple and approachable. Today we are diving into password validation within Angular Reactive Forms. Whether you are building a signup page or profile update feature, ensuring the user's input correct passwords is crucial. Let's get started. Firstly, if you are new to Angular Reactive Forms, they offer a model driven approach to handling form inputs whose values changes over time. Now let's set up our form to include password and confirm password fields. So let's begin by importing the Reactive Forms module in your app.module. Then we will set up the form group in your component. So let's go to the app module and let's add Reactive Forms module. Now uh, I'm working on the register dot component. So right now this is empty with just basic structure in it just to style it. This is how it looks like right now. So here in the TS file, I will just add a property form form group. Okay. And now I will add a constructor and in that constructor i will initialize my form with the form group and in that form group i will add the fields that I, that i need so for example i need email is equal to new form group uh, form control and we will give it the empty default value and then we'll give it the validations like validators not required and validators dot email so this will enforce this input to have only email and it has to be it has not to be empty and next we need password and then new form control with the default empty value and in the validators we need validators dot required make sure to import this validators class from the angular slash forms and then we need a confirm password new form control and then in the validators we need validators dot required and in the second parameter of the form group i will give it this dot password match validator now we need to create this function like this and this will be receiving the form group we have to return either null or an object with the error that is going to be triggered so for example we will return form dot get password and we will check if value make sure to add the question mark here if value is equal to form dot get confirm password dot value then we will return null otherwise i will return a, an object with mismatch true uh, we need to update it a little bit so instead of passing it directly uh, directly i will pass an object here and then we'll give it validators and then pass that validator to it and then here we need to change the type instead of form we have the control type is abstract control okay and here we need to replace it with the control all right so here we have created a form with two fields and custom validator a password match validator this validator checks if both fields have the same value if don't then it returns an object with a mismatch error now let's update our template to bind our form using form group and add form control name to each input so for that first of all we will need to add our inputs so input type username or email and then we need the form control name and this is going to be email and placeholder is also email we also need to link it with the form group okay now i'm going to copy paste this one password and this is also password password and then we need to add confirm password okay now at the end we need to add the submit button and add the type submit so this is how it is looking right now let me change the layout direction by adding the okay here i will add flex direction column again width is 100 percent and here the width is going to be 500 pixels okay now at the end uh we notice we have added the form control name so this directive this binds each input to the corresponding control in our form group next to provide feedback let's show an error message if the passwords do not match for that below this confirm password input i will add a div and in this div i will add password must match and here i will add an if condition and i will use pass i will use form dot errors and if there are any errors then if there is an error with the name mismatch 
property then and also we will check password form.get actually we have to make change here we need to use get confirmation confirm password and then errors mismatch so we should access it in this way this conditional ensures that we only show the error message if the confirm password control specifically has the mismatch error and has been touched by user now let's see it in action open your browser and let's type two different password and then we will see the difference and the error message so here i will add abc and this wrong password for now it did not show any error yet uh, maybe we did not provide the correct okay so as we have triggered the error on the form level so we don't need to use this one you can just use form dot errors and this should work okay now let's add a different password here like abc the password is same that's why there is no error if you make a change you will see that password must match error is visible let me remove this one now now type something you will see the error fix the password and the error has gone now you can also disable and enable the button based on this validation for example add disabled only if form dot valid or if form is, is not valid then make it disabled so right now form is not valid and make it valid by providing the correct password now button is enabled again and that's it now you know how to implement the password and confirm password validation in angular reactive form experiment with this in your projects and remember a secure application is trustworthy application don't forget to hit that like button subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our web development tutorials happy coding